Are we in a housing market correction? Joshua Holt with the Holt Real Estate Team, Keller Williams Realty, and today I'm gonna answer that question and also the other pressing question that people keep asking me is what about the looming recession that may be coming to the economy? So a correction is a decline of 10% or greater in the price of a security asset or financial market. So are we in a housing correction? No, because we're not seeing anywhere near 10% decline in housing prices. Where are we? We are in a market turning point. So we're starting to see signs of a new direction, but the ball is still very firmly in the seller's courts in most housing markets. Really the best way to describe this market is this is a market that we've never seen before. Not in a hundred plus years has the U.S. economy been coming out of a pandemic, dealing with such strong supply and demand, and now such high inflation that we really don't have much to compare to. So when you're hearing in the news that we're in a housing correction, bubble's going to burst, market's going to crash, we're going to have a recession and prices are going to bottom out, I want to share with you a couple key data points and perspective of why that isn't necessarily going to happen. So, you know, we've seen recently news about how, you know, the feds are increasing the rate. In fact, recently they just increased the rate by three quarters of a point, and they're talking about doing more increases as the year progresses. However, if you look at this slide, and I've shared this information with you before, you'll see that mortgage rates really are not tied to the Fed rate. They're tied more to the 10-year Treasury bond rate. And you can see, looking at this, for almost 50 years, 30-year mortgage rate has moved in unison with the 10-year Treasury yield. You can see it kind of goes lockstep all the way through with an average spread of about 1.7 basis points. So what does that mean? It means when you're seeing the Fed's talking about raising rates and you're seeing how that, yes, it has impact on other areas of your financial well-being and other debts that you may have, it doesn't have a direct correlation to mortgage rates. So, you know, experts don't believe that the market is in a bubble or a crash, like in the Great Recession. You know, we're still suffering from that housing shortage that has reached crisis proportions at a time when many millennials are reaching the age when they start to consider home ownership. That's likely going to keep prices high. Mortgage rates are likely to plateau at near levels. We saw that very recently when rates were kind of in the low fives, then they did jump up recently and we're starting to see that already again, where we feel that you know rates are going to get to a point where they're just going to then start to level off. You know, Financial markets are attempted to, they price in that impact with the actions that the Fed takes, likely also pricing in you know any economic slowdown that will result of, of these increases. So once we are past these rate spikes that we're seeing, and associated volatility, Mortgage Bankers Association expects that potential home buyers may be more willing to re-enter the market. So those buyers that left the market, you know, may be more willing to come back in to what may become this new normal market that we're in. So then my, my final point I want to talk about is what about a recession? We're hearing a lot of stuff in the news about, you know, a recession is looming. And yes, it's very likely that a recession may come, but a recession doesn't equal a housing crash. The National Bureau of Economic Research defines a recession as a significant decline in economic activity spread across the economy lasting more than a few months. Normally that's visible in real GDP, real income, employment, industrial production, and wholesale retail sales. But if you look here at this information, looking at home price changes over the last six recessions, you'll see that four of the last six we actually saw an increase in home values, not a decrease. So basically, recessions don't equal a housing crisis. So in closing, what I would say is, if you are looking to buy a home, I would still recommend you do so, even at the higher interest rates, because we have no reason to believe that home prices will stop appreciating. Home values going up, it's only a problem when you're trying to buy. When you're a homeowner, that appreciation, it's a gift. So once again, this is Joshua Holt, the Holt Real Estate Team, Keller Williams Realty, 
sharing with you my perspective on what's going on in the current market. And as always, if you have any questions about what's going on, or if you're looking to buy, sell, build, or invest in the local Madison area, my team and I would love the opportunity to meet with you and discuss your real estate goals. You can reach us at 608-345-6594 or email me directly at jdholt at kw.com and we can help you get started on that journey. Thanks again for taking the time to watch our video today and be well. Thank you.